spot obviously for you this morning not feeling well. What does it take to then muster up the energy and perform the way you did? Um, I don't know. I mean, if I'm, let's say I'm going to play, then I got to try to make plays to help our team win. And um, you know, I'm, I'm feeling the effects of it now. <laughs> um, my energy is very low right now, but I just, I guess the you know, being back on our home floor and being with my teammates gave me enough energy throughout the game to be able to make enough plays to help us win. When it comes to the Pelicans, knowing how good they are getting at the rim, you're already out to bail. What kind of impact would you quantify what Zoo gave you? Uh, I mean, Zoo got the game ball tonight, uh, for sure. I mean, his impact both offensively and defensively was huge for us tonight. Uh, you know, his ability to uh, you know catch the ball, dunk it, uh, grab rebounds, set great screens, get us open, and uh, protect the rim at times as well was huge for us. Ron, what do you have? Do you have flu-like symptoms or something like that? No, no, I just ain't myself. So it's something. <laughs> Um, did, how much did that kind of play a factor in you being more of a playmaker than start yet seven assists like in the first six minutes? I'm a playmaker by nature. So I had nothing to do with it. Did you have to do anything uh, to sort of keep your energy up during the game that you normally want to No, I'll just stay hydrated. Um, I can't. Uh, I never change what I do you know, throughout the game. I was just you know, drinking my fluids as I always do. Uh, maybe had a little bit more, you know, during halftime. Uh, just, just keep my fools going. How, how much confidence to give you have that depth with Rondo and, and Ingram back in the game? Uh, I told you guys once, to tell you again, I can't say it throughout the season, our team is built off speed and, uh, and depth and uh, energy. You know? So, uh, you know, when we have our energy, which, which is a correlation of speed, and when we have our depth, we're very good. I know you take a lot of pride in being available. Was there ever a moment where you didn't think that you'd be able to go? Uh, when I woke up this morning, I didn't feel too great. Um, you know, so I just stayed in the bed and um, you know, just tried to get as much rest as possible. So, and once I woke back up, um, you know, after going back to sleep, I, you know, I knew I would probably give it a go. In hindsight, do you feel that you did anything wrong by commenting on Davis at the start of the week? And were you surprised by how much reaction those comments generated? Wrong, wrong. Some people think. So. Sorry. So. Okay, no, I'm, I'm asking you, did, do you think you did? No, okay. of course not. What did I do? You, you made comments about another team's player, some things. Some so what did, I do? what did I do? <laughs> you made comments about but another team's player. But what did I do, was it right or wrong? I, I'm asking you your opinion. Were you surprised by how much reaction it of generated? Of course not. Oh, anything I say would generate something. Did, did you know that when you said it? Or did you? No. You just kind uh, of said it and then realized um, ask me uh, what I like to play with Kevin Durant. Ask me right now. Would you like to play with Kevin Absolutely. Durant? Absolutely. Ask me if I like to play with Jimmy Butler. Say right now. Ask Butler. me about Kyrie Irving, Giannis. Ask me about Embiid, Ben Simmons. Go ahead. All of them. Luka Doncic. Ask me right now. Come on, guys. It's not rocket science. <laughs> it's not rocket science. These are great players. Absolutely. I, mean, I would love to play with a lot of great players. That's just who I am. Um, so... People get caught up in, you know, get caught up in bunches, you know, sometimes when they, they wish they can control what you say and they can't control me at all. And I play by the rules. <laughs>